found guilty on one count of misdemeanor assault and battery for his actions the night of December 8th, 2019. Now you should be seeing a photo of Falkenna as he left the courthouse this afternoon. Now when this happened, Falkenna was working in an off-duty capacity for the Southern Railway Tap House in Shaco Slip, but as you mentioned, he was in his RPD uniform. And what happened that caused this charge was caught on surveillance video. Now in it, you see the victim in this case, Michael Hammond, leaving the bar around closing time, looking down at his phone. He attempts to walk down the stairs out of the bar, but is blocked by Falkenna. Hammond was apparently unaware that he was supposed to go down a ramp to the left. Now, Falkenna moved him in that direction, but Hammond only walked a few steps when Falkenna grabbed him from behind and pulled him back, and the two were face to face for about 10 seconds. Then Falkenna twists Hammond around, and what happens next is what was up for debate in the courtroom. The defense said that Hammond was belligerent and that Falkenna was trying to defuse the situation, pull him away from the crowd on the ramp, and let him go down the stairs and was simply trying to guide him, and that Hammond fell by himself. But, Falk but Hammond and the prosecution were uh, arguing that Falkenna pushed or shoved him or threw him down the stairs. Now, in the video, you do see Falkenna's arms fully extend as Hammond goes down the stairs. Now, Judge Beverly Snuckles said what happened in the moments leading up to that didn't matter in this case. What mattered were those moments of Hammond going down the stairs, and she saw. She said that she saw Falkenna's motions not as a guiding motion, but more as a push or a shove and was unnecessary and found him guilty. This is how Hammond described that interaction to us after the hearing. Bouncers, I get pushed. And then I'm like, what the heck? Then I'm like trying to go the actual right way. And then the video shows the cop literally putting his hand on my shoulder and pulling me back from going the correct way. And then um, screaming in my face and then throwing me down the stairs. Now, Hammond said his ankle was fractured in that and he missed uh, a month and a half of work after the verdict. Falkenna said he felt very bad that Hammond was physically hurt and it was not his intent. He was sentenced to 90 days in prison, but all 90 have been suspended. He'll have to pay restitution to Hammond and will be on a year's probation. Now, Hammond also has a civil suit in this case. Now, RPD has released a statement about the verdict saying that Falkenna has been placed on leave without pay pending the outcome of their administrative review. An additional comment from Chief Gerald Smith said, quote, it's unfortunate when these incidents happen. This incident does not reflect the values of the Richmond Police Department. And